It's not even Monday, and I already have a $1,000 bet for college football week five. Pretty crazy it's already week five of college football, but there are some good games to be on the lookout for. Both Georgia and Alabama. Alabama struggled with Texas. Georgia looked a little weak last week, you have to admit, but there's some good games. NC State Clemson, USC Arizona State, Stanford Oregon, Alabama Arkansas, Oklahoma State Baylor. There's some really good games in week five to be excited for. Kentucky, Mississippi. So you can see sportsbooks are starting to post odds. Houston Tulane should be a good game. Boise State, San Diego, UCLA, Washington should be incredible. You can see UCLA is actually a slight dog in this game. We had them last week, minus 20 on the point spread. No big deal. It cashed. And we're going to go through kind of the best betting opportunities. Baylor, Oklahoma State bookmakers are pricing as a very close game as well. Wake Forest looked really good against Clemson. So it should be it should be a fun should be a fun week, but let's go ahead and let's dive into my bet. So the bet I found is in the Boise State San Diego State game. And I found this bet on the Odds Jam arbitrage betting tool. So what is an arbitrage bet? Click this little, you know, help icon, you'll see a very handsome man kind of explaining to you how arbitrage works. And essentially what arbitrage is is it's when sports books have such a big line discrepancy that you could make a risk-free profit betting the over on one book and the under on another book, right? Or on the money line on, you know, one fighter and on, like, here's a good example. AJ Dobson is plus 220 on bet online um, for this MMA fight on October 22nd. This other guy is minus 210. So essentially on FanDuel, you only have to bet 210 bucks on the favored fighter Petro Cyan or something like that to win back a hundred. And if you're laying a hundred on bet online, you're betting a hundred to win 220. So what this little calculator is, is it's an arbitrage calculator that will tell you, Hey, you know, if you bet 450 bucks on bet online and you bet 975 on FanDuel, you'll make a risk-free profit of 1452. And we've kind of gone through this before. So you can feel free to kind of go through the math here. This will be in the description, uh, just an example of an arbitrage bet, how the math works, one that we hit for a risk-free $200 of profit a bit ago. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get back to it. So whenever you have arbitrage, you know that there has to be a profitable bet, right? Like we could make risk-free money playing Dobson on Bet Online or Petro Cyan on FanDuel. So we know there has to be a profitable bet here. You could make risk-free money betting on both fighters on equal and opposite platforms. So one of these bets has to be good. And it's our job as a sharp better to tease out which bet is good. So it's the same thing here. In Boise, Diego, in Boise State, San Diego State, there's an arbitrage bet between win bet and pinnacle. So what I did is I just clicked into it and I was like, okay, I know one of these bets has to be profitable. So what's the deal? And what I saw is, hey, WinBet currently has their over-under set at 39, right? Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, is pricing this at minus 138 because Pinnacle offers alternates, right? You can see WinBet, they only have one total, over-under 39. Their mainline market with minus 110, minus 110 juice. Pinnacle, which is the sharpest, most efficient betting market, the most sophisticated sports book in terms of their pricing, they offer markets all the way, you know, all these alternates from 38 and a half to 42 and a half. So kind of what you'll notice is just looking at the betting market is win bet is a full two points off from every sports book, right? Every other sports book has the line, the main line set at over under 41. We're able to get over 39 on win bet. That is a massive difference. Two points in a total as low as 40. Being able to get over 39 is insane value. And what we can do is just kind of like, you know, we can kind of go through it. But an example I like to give that people need to think about more, right? Odds Jam is a data platform. It's all about using real-time data, real-time odds to inform your betting decisions and find sharp picks. And when you're betting at minus 110 juice, 
And you can see I absolutely hammered this bet for 1.1K. So we're betting 1.1K to win $1,000. And I added it to my sheet with all my bets, right? So I've been giving out a lot of plays. Uh, since the start of football season, any play I've given out publicly on YouTube, we've been tracking the profit and loss on. Sports bets, no fantasy stuff, so no underdog fantasy or prize picks. Um, but regardless, in terms of sports betting, we're up 11K. So hopefully you've been able to tail it. And if not, I'm not really sure what other YouTube you're getting your picks from or what other platform you're getting your picks from because 11K ain't too bad. And the whole point is just kind of showing you like as a data-driven better, we don't win every bet, but we win in the long run always, right? Like, you know, we had a bunch of anytime TD bets. Not all of them hit, but hey, Trubitsky hit giving us 2.5K on Thursday Night Football. That's not bad, right? So you don't need to win every bet. That's not the point. In fact, when you're betting at minus 110 juice, you only need to win 52.4% of your wagers to break even. So sharp bettors, pro bettors, people who do this full-time for a living, like myself, you know, you just need to win 55% of your bets to break even. Or I mean, if you're winning 55% of your bets, you're essentially a full-time pro sports better, whatever you want to call it. If you can win on spreads and totals 55% of the time with high confidence, right, you could essentially do this full-time. That's what the pros win at, the syndicates, you know, the big bettors who have been doing this full-time are winning 55% of the time, right? Recreational bettors win only 50% of the time. So that difference between 50 and 55% is legitimately the difference between like being a pro sports better, a full time, like you can make $100,000 a year betting on sports and going broke sports betting, which is winning 50% of the time. So like being able to find these spots with value, like these are the types of bets that make you rich from sports betting in the long run. It's not about placing crazy plus 10,000 odds parlays, you know, and praying that you hit every bet because that's not going to happen, right? It's about finding an edge finding lines that are two points off in a total where you're getting, you know, a total bet or a spread bet that's actually winning 55% of the time, right? Such as this bet, you know, two points off from the entire sports betting market. So we're using real-time data to inform our betting decisions, right? And like very clearly, win bet is mispriced here and we want to be all over this over because their line is two points lower than everyone else's. So Pinnacle, their line is minus 138, plus 114. So if you go to a no vague fair odds calculator, you know, this bet should be hitting 55.37% of the time. Very sharp bet um, that I ended up playing. So this bet's hitting 55.37% of the time. So what we can do is go to an EV calculator. This bet's hitting 55.37% of the time. We're staking at minus 110 odds and we're betting $1,100. My bet has $63 in profit margin. If you tried to give me a 60, you know, 320s for my bet, I wouldn't trade it for you. My bet is worth $60. I don't, 62.77. I don't want $50. I don't want a $50 bill. I don't want a $55 bill or a 50, $50 bill and a $5 bill. My bet is worth 62.77. That's the profit margin, the EV of my bet. So I won't trade it for anything less, right? So really sharp bet, really happy with this bet, really happy with the results so far since we started tracking on this channel, just to really show you guys, like we're not gonna win every day, but over the course of the long run, we're gonna win. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's make some money.